Hi, I'm George Caliccio. Today is our third segment on our continuing series on triads. In today's lesson, we will learn second inversion triads on string sets one through three. We will discuss how they are constructed and how they are played on the guitar. So grab your guitar and let's get to work. A second inversion triad is when the fifth of a particular triad is in the lowest sounding note, or in other words, in the bass. In our examples, we're going to use E as a root note for all our triads. So let's first review what an E major scale is. In an E major scale, we start with our E, we go a whole step to an F sharp, another whole step to a G sharp, a half step to an A, whole step to a B, whole step to a C sharp, a whole step to a D sharp, and another half step to E. Our scale degree would be E is our first note, F sharp is our second, G sharp is our third, A is our fourth, B is our fifth, C sharp is our sixth, D sharp is the seventh, and E is the octave or the first. In our triad formula, let's just review what an E major triad is in root position. It would be an E, the first note, the third note, which is a G sharp, and the fifth note, which is a B. In our previous video, we did first inversion triads. But the second version starts with the fifth of the chord. So in this case, our E major would be, we'd start with a B in the lowest uh, sound in the bass, B, then we'd play our E, and then we play our G sharp, the third. In a minor triad, we'd start with the B again, the fifth in the bass, it would be a B, E, the first, and then we'd have a flat three, which in this case, we would flat it, so it'd be a G. Our diminish would start with a B flat, an E, and a flat three, in so a G. Our augmented, we'd start with the sharp five. So a sharp five would be a B sharp, or enharmonically would just be a C. So we would start with a C, E, the one, and then our third would be a G sharp. Our E sus two would be the five, which would be a B, the one, which is an E, and the two, which is an F sharp. Our sus four is a five, which is a B, E, which is one, and our four, which is an A. And our major flat five, is we start with our flat five, which is a B flat, to the one E, and the three, which is a G sharp. Let's look at E major first. Here's our one, our three and five, but notice our five is in the lowest sounding note, which is the bass. So we have a five, one, three, E major. To our E minor, oh, and we would use our one, three, and two fingers. Our E minor, we'd start with the fifth root, and we'd flat the third. So we would use our two, three, and one. Those chords may look very familiar to you if you were playing open chords. We'll talk about that later when we get our guitars out. Our E diminished, we have the, the flat five, we have the one, and the flat three. We would use our fingers one, three, one. We could bar our first finger over that. The next ones are 
E augmented. We start with a sharp five, a root in our third, two, three, one. An E sus two, we start with the five again, then we go to our root and we bring our note down to the second note, which is an F sharp in this key. And we use fingers three, four, one. An E sus four, start with our fifth, which is a B, our root, which is an E, and then we would go to our fourth, which is an A. And we could use our first, third, and fourth finger for that shape. A major flat five. This time we'd start with the flat five to B flat, a root, which is the E, and our third, which is a G sharp, using our first, third, and second fingers. Here's our E major triad. And we have the fifth in the bass right here. That's our B, our root, and our third, which is a G sharp. Now to create the E minor triad, we flat the third. When I mean third, I mean the third degree of the chord. And then to make an E diminish, we not only flat the three, but we flat the five. And if we go back to our E major, we want to sharp the five to make an E augmented. Then we go back to E major. We can suss the two, which here's our second note, the F sharp. We can use our these fingers as well but since my hand is here I can go like that make it an E sus 2 back to the major sus the 4 so here's my fifth note B E the root G sharp now if we sus the 4 we're gonna add the A instead if we go back to the E major then as we, if we have an E major flat five, there's our five, we just flat the five. So let me just go through these again quickly. E major, E minor, E diminished, E augmented, E sus two, E sus four, major flat five and again remember these are all movable so if that's an E that's an F this is our G and everything just moves like it did major minor diminished major augmented major Sus two, sus four, major with a flat five. So have fun with that. Work your way all the way up the neck and all the way back down again. Playing those shapes, but also naming them, it's very important. Have fun with this lesson, and we will see you next time.